Coming up on the TCTV Training Show, we'll be looking at a music spotlight on local band The Merman, a video about great places in Olympia, and a PSA about how wonderful it is to volunteer at the Volunteer Center. Time to roll the intro. It's the TCTV Training Show. The TCTV Training Show. They're learning how to shoot and learning how to light. Learning how to mic and edit right. These are TCTV's finest in training. Doing their best with focusing and framing. It's the TCTV Training Show. The TCTV Training Show. You're watching TCTV. It's the Training Show. The TCTV Training Show. They will get better. Welcome to the TCTV Training Show. I'm Freddie, and I'm a media trainer and facilitator here at TCTV. I teach the Digital Field and Editing class, a four-day course where students come to learn how to use our Digital Field camera equipment and how to edit with Final Cut Express. In order to become certified in the class and use all the great equipment we have here, each student has to make a short project highlighting the skills that they've learned and here in the TCTV training show, we'll be taking a look at each of those videos and talking a little bit about each one as we go along. Just so you know, we hold these classes each month so you can make your own programs for TCTV using more advanced equipment and using more options during editing. To be enrolled in one of these $20 classes, just call us anytime at 360-956-3100 or visit the website tctv.net and click on training. But for now, let's roll these clips. First up, we have an informational piece about the Volunteer Center and what it's like to be a volunteer. This was made by Sarah Alstrom, so let's enjoy. My name is Emma Margraf. I am the Director of Special Projects here at the Volunteer Center. My name is Alina Swanson and I am the AmeriCorps VISTA leader, so my position is with the Volunteer Centers of Washington and I support um, over 20 VISTAs in their AmeriCorps projects. Um, my name is Megan and I'm the Days of Service Coordinator here at the Volunteer Center. Uh, my name is Kelly Lux and I write the opportunities for the newspaper. Well, the Volunteer Center does a lot of ongoing projects and uh, matchmaking of volunteers and volunteer opportunities, but we also do big one-day service projects, and so that is what I am in charge of coordinating. So we have holiday meals, we have a project with a bunch of middle school kids in honor of Martin Luther King Day, we have um, summer service, which is a bunch of one-day events all together throughout the summer. So anytime it's um, one big day event, that's what I work on orchestrating. I think people should volunteer if they want to make impact in their communities. I think people should volunteer if they want to help their neighbors. I think people should volunteer if they want to live in healthy communities. Um, I think people should volunteer because it's the community they live in and it's everyone helping out. Um, helps everyone have a higher standard of living. So when you're volunteering and you're helping different nonprofits or you're helping different organizations that need it, it helps everybody in the community. It brings the community up as a whole. The real question is who benefits more? And uh, many people will tell you the volunteer does. Um, another reason I volunteer is to meet really fun people. Um, a lot of the people that I've met through my volunteer opportunities are people that I've continued to want to hang out with even after the volunteer opportunity ends. So there's people that I met at the homeless shelter that I might never um, volunteer with them at the shelter again because the schedule doesn't work out, but I'm like, wow, you're a really fun person. Let's go hang out and have coffee and talk about all the things we're going to do to save the world together. Um, I volunteer my time at the center because I want to get some job experience and I feel like I've learned a lot from my volunteer time here at um, the volunteer center and I'm still learning stuff so it's like been a very positive experience for me.
This is a wonderful video highlighting a very important service in Thurston County, and you represented them very well. All of your shots were framed perfectly, and it's a great example of what the rule of thirds should look like. The rule, just to let everyone else know, states that if you separate the picture both horizontally and vertically into thirds, the subject should be aligned on one side and then the eyes on the top third. You also picked your backgrounds really well. You obviously put a lot of thought into it before you started shooting. The black and white pictures behind the interviewees separated them really well from the background. And that's something to think about before you actually hit record, because you want to make sure that there's nothing in the background that's distracting away from the subject, and even that it's not too bland or just, you know, whatever. You want to make sure you don't just pay attention to the person that you're interviewing or recording, but also to what's behind them. The music you chose was really effective too. It drops out when the people are talking, and then rises again at the title cards and the ending graphic. In fact, I love the way it ended specifically. The music rises up nicely right as the logo fades in. Great job. One thing that I would recommend is to use a few less transitions. Even though you didn't use anything goofy like a star wipe or a page peel, sometimes when you use too many cross dissolves right after each other, it can be a little bit distracting. Um, Try just using a straight cut in between the interviewees, and then try using the fades only for subject changes when it's going from one topic to another, because in that case it works really well. The only other critique that I have is that it could have used a little bit of b-roll. Just some shots of the building, or maybe a couple of clips of people volunteering. It always helps to have something to cut away to during interviews, just to keep it interesting. Not that it wasn't interesting, it really was. It's not, that's not what I'm saying. But all in all, this is a wonderful piece. It looks professional, it's concise, and it's exactly the kind of thing we look for in a TC TV training show segment. Thanks a lot, Sarah. Next, we have a music spotlight on a rap group called The Merman, and it's directed by Corey Crowley, so let's check it out. Yo. My name is Mike Dove, and uh, I'm a member of the Mermen, which is a hip hop group up and coming out of Bellingham. It just started recently. Recently, we just threw a show at the Cherry Loft. It was sick. <laughs> With the Mermen, like I make music, we make hip hop, like myself and Colin, Elliot, Jensen. Uh, Sly Rye, Alex, and Logan. So there's six of us in the Mermen. Uh, we all throw down on tracks together, and recently we've been promoting shows. My friend Colin, who I guess you could call him the Mermaster, <laughs> put it, puts it all together. Um, he uh, brought Tame One over from New Jersey up in February, and most recently we just had a show at the Cherry Loft, like I said earlier, and that was fun. It was a success. We had over 100 people come through. It was fun. Had the Mermen come down with Hustle City and they got to play. So, it was good shit. This coming month, I'm trying to put together another show. I'm trying to promote some more, uh, get a, the first week of June, maybe a show. Might be down at the Northern, I don't know yet. Still, venues up in the air, depending on if uh, it's going to happen or not. Um, we'll see. And uh, this summer, though, there are going to be shows. Also, the Merman album is being mastered, and it's going to be dropping here pretty soon. And so, be sure to cop that. Uh, we have a MySpace, the Merman MySpace. Uh, so if you want to check that out, like we got links to also the Hashinauts MySpace. There are tracks on there, and you'll be able to email us. So if you want to get at us, check it out. Yeah, pretty much uh, Merman, all about chilling. <laughs> That's what it's about.
Thanks a lot, Corey. It's always good to see a local music spotlight here on the TCTV training show. This is a really good band spotlight, and especially within the three minute time constraint. You covered a lot of ground. I'm very glad you did a two camera shoot at the show. It's always more interesting to have a second angle to look at. Although, the second camera had a completely different look than the first one, which can be a little bit jarring. Next time, you could try using the color correct filter and try to make them a little bit closer, just so it looks like they came from the same place. To use the color corrector, just go to your effects tab, click the black triangle next to video filters, and then click the black triangle next to color correction, and finally click and drag the color corrector onto your clip. Then double click the clip, and your color corrector will be in its own separate tab in the viewer. You have control over all kinds of things with this filter. It's one of the most useful in all of Final Cut. So play around with it and see what kinds of things you can do. There's lots of features like autocorrect color and autocorrect light, you can try those out first and then adjust the rest as you go along to your taste. Your project also had a really good interview. You covered all the bases that are most important when it comes to interviewing bands. And you got all the names of the band members and you talked about the album and upcoming events. That's all good stuff. The interview was a little bit backlit though. It's always a good idea to try to stage the interview away from windows and other light sources that might make it become overexposed. One other thing you could try in future band videos is promoting the band by including their information on screen. Most bands have all kinds of different ways to find out more about them and listen to their music, and if you put it on the screen, you put their MySpace, Last.fm, or Bandcamp, or whatever on the screen when you're talking about them, it can really help them get more recognition and help people to find out more about the band by not just watching the video, but also exploring them on their own. This is a great band video, and it makes me excited to see more local music spotlights. There's a very rich music culture in Thurston County, and Corey, thanks for doing your part to highlight some of it. Each month on the TCTV Training Show, we make a short tutorial showing you how to improve your effectiveness in different areas of media production. This month, Eric Oderman talks a little bit about our new flip cameras. These guys. So, let's see what we'll learn. Hi, I'm Eric, a media trainer at Thurston Community Television. We're super excited about a brand new piece of equipment, the Flip Ultra camcorder. The Flip Ultra might look small, but it can record up to two hours of video at 30 frames per second. It's a great tool if you want to jump in and start creating video, especially shorter stuff, for the web. After taking a few minutes to familiarize yourself with the controls of the Flip Ultra, you'll be ready to go in no time. Let's take a look. The front of the camera features the lens and microphone. Like all camcorders, the onboard mic doesn't provide as high quality audio as a separate mic, so if you're recording somebody speaking, make sure you're very close. The back of the camcorder has the viewfinder and all the controls you'll need, including the record button. The power button is on one side, and the USB connector for transferring your clips to a computer is on the opposite side. When you're ready to shoot video, press the power button on the side to turn the camcorder on. The display will indicate how much video you can record. To begin recording, press the red button. While you're recording video, you can press the plus and minus button to zoom in and out. Press the red button again to stop recording. If you want to review all the clips you've recorded, press the play button. Your first clip will begin playing. You can skip through clips by pressing the left and right arrow buttons followed by the play button. Pressing the plus and minus buttons will change the playback volume. Press the red record button to exit playback mode. If you want to delete something you've previously recorded, press the delete button. Selecting yes with the arrow key and then pressing the play button to confirm will delete your most recently recorded clip. Alternatively, you can enter playback mode, use the arrow key to select a clip you want to delete, and then press the delete button. If you choose all, you will erase everything from the camcorder's memory. And that's all there is to operating the Flip Ultra. Remember, all of the settings on the camcorder are automatic, including focus, so it's always a good idea to review your footage using the playback feature. In the meantime, if you have any questions, feel free to ask us. Have fun with your Flip Ultra. Thanks for watching. Thanks a lot, Eric. And for our last video project, we're going to take a little look around Olympia, Washington with Joseph Hiss and Yolanda Cifuentes.
see the fine little houseboat over here. Let the impressive shingle work. My name is Joe and I want to tell you about the Olympia Free School. It has nothing to do with preschool. Free School is a group of musicians, uh, old time folk musicians who like to get together and exchange uh, tunes with one another and learn a new tune each time they meet. Now uh, what you can do to find out more about us is to go on the web and access the Oli Old Time uh, website. There are Schedule should be uh, grizzlegrazzlegroups.org, but in any case, we play at a lot of square dances, at grange halls, at uh, school auditoriums, um, anywhere that people want to square dance or sometimes contra dance. We have a couple of good square dance colors in our band that take turns either fiddling or calling the, the dances, and uh, we always seem to do it for people of all skill levels so that. Uh, uh, we walk everybody through it, and anybody, whether they've had any training in square dancing or not, is welcome to come. It's time for commercials. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Doing both a highlight of the city Olympia in general and the Olympia Free School might be a bit much for a short video project like the ones we do for the TCTV training show. It seemed like neither of them got as much focus as they could have, but I commend you for being so ambitious. Another thing I would suggest is checking the transitions between clips on the timeline. I noticed that when you cut from clip to clip, it often had a little bit of black space in between. This is usually caused by the clips not being completely next to each other. Even a little bit of space between will cause a black spot. Two things that you could do to help this is, first of all, enable snapping on the timeline. That's the little button up on the top right of the timeline. That way, when you move things around, they're going to snap to the edges of the abutting clips. The second thing you could try is to zoom in a little bit with the zoom tool, the one that looks like a little magnifying glass. And then control click on the space in between the two clips. Then there'll be a little option that says close gap and your clips will slide together and make your cut a seamless one. The music in your project was very nice and it completely flowed with the visuals you had. 
Although there were a couple of times when the audio from the video, and by that I mean the ambient outdoor sounds, would cut in at seemingly random times. If you want to use that audio, I would lower it so that it doesn't distract attention from the music, but I'd also put a transition on either side of it so it kind of fades in and out instead of just doing a straight cut, which can be a little bit jarring at times. I was really excited to see you using the jump backs in the part where you were cropped and talking about the free school. That was a really good effect in that spot. That was a really good example about how to use jump backs effectively, and I feel like not enough people really know about that or tried using them kind of creatively that way. So, <clears throat> for all you producers out there, um, I want you to remember that you've got lots of jump backs at your disposal on the desktop of all of our editing suites. To use jump backs yourself, all you have to do is go to the desktop and pick your way through all the different jump backs that we have and pick whatever ones you want to use, copy them onto the hard drive that you're currently using. and then import them into Final Cut Express. And that's it. You can use them for whatever you want. Um, they're very good for opening titles or closing credits or um, used as an effect or even just uh, the way that Joe used them there. So they're there at your disposal and so you should try to use them if you want to and they're great. Anyway, Joe and Yolanda, great job. The video could still use some polish in a couple areas but I really think you guys are starting to get the hang of both the cameras and Final Cut Express. I can't wait to see what you guys do next. So, thanks to these projects, I am fully confident that all of these featured producers are comfortable shooting their own pieces with TCTV's equipment and editing with Final Cut Express. They are 100% certified and now have full access to TCTV field equipment and the editing stations. And with that, we've come to the end of another TCTV training show. You can check us out each week on Channel 22, Thursdays at 8 and Sundays at 3.30. Or you can stream our entire archive of episodes online on our website, tctv.net. Just go onto that and click on training. So, that's it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. It's the TCTV Training Show. The TCTV Training Show. They're learning how to shoot and learning how to light. Learning how to mic and edit right. These are TCTV's finest in training, doing their best with focusing and framing. It's the TCTV Training Show, the TCTV Training Show. You're watching TCTV, it's the Training Show, the TCTV Training Show. They will get better.